Ladies and gentlemen, welcome you faces to a brand new video where today we're going to be checking out the brand new Street Sweeper shotgun, the Road Rage Upgraded Monstrosity. And when I say monstrosity, I mean it. it's almost like Treyarch was creating a Frankenstein of shotguns to showcase and release for our faces. We had two amazing shotguns already put in the game and then they decided to release this one. And unfortunately, the experiment may have gone wrong. But with that said, this brand new shotgun is out and is available for your faces. And you might be like, Tom, this is shenanigans. I am on Call of Duty right now. I open up my shotguns and I only see the Hauer and the Gallo. What is going on? There's no other shotgun. And to that, I say, this is why I'm here, ladies and gentlemen. So if you're watching this video and you do enjoy it, leave a like, and click that subscribe button. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get your hands on the brand new Street Sweeper automatic shotgun. So here we go. Straight away, instead of jumping into Call of Duty Cold War, that is a no-go. You might be like, but Tom, I'm unlocking the gun for this and that's where I say hey guess what Treyarch strikes again you're gonna want to jump into Warzone and the reason why you're gonna want to jump into Warzone is because that's where you actually unlock the shotgun and for then some magical reason it ports over to Black Ops where if you simply jump into your creator class, go to your loadouts and choose a shotgun class, you will see that the Street Sweeper is there and available. It doesn't say anything along the lines of, hey, unlock it here and you can use it in zombies. No sir. All of a sudden, this just appeared in the classes and showed that if you use the shotgun and get three kills without dying in 15 different matches, you will indeed unlock the Street Sweeper. And then for some reason, when you unlock it in here, it is available in Black Ops. And if I show on screen right now, my editor, Ryan, whilst I was out and about, managed to do this challenge and get it unlocked. And when you fully complete and unlock it in Warzone, it makes it available in Black Ops where you can customize it with your camos, your attachments, just like it would be if it was meant to be there. So, hey, all I'm going to say is if there's a brand new gun to use, I'm going to check it out. And that's what we're about to do right now. It was as simple as that. And I say simple because it is a bit annoying that you have to go through these hoops to be able to unlock something for the other game you want to play. But alas, here we are. The Street Sweeper shotgun is available to unlock in zombies. Get it done, get it used, and impress your friends. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, here is the Street Sweeper. What an absolute beast of a gun. Listen to that thing. Now, wait. Keep waiting. Wait some more. Just a little bit longer. Almost there. It's now ready to fire. That's right. This gun comes with some flaws. And when I say flaws, ladies and gentlemen, I don't mean the world's slowest reload. That that can be forgiven kind of slightly, you know, when you've got sleight of hand and increased ammo mag in there and all that good stuff. But no, it comes with some flaws in the, in the, in the aspect that you think, oh my God, automatic shotgun. All the other shotguns in this game are absolute tanks. They're the go-to OP weapon in this game when you haven't got the ray gun, you know, the starting rounds. But when you then consider unleashing this beast on these zombies, by the time you've merely sneezed on a few of them, you're already reloading the gun again. And it is not even a one-shot headshot at round four. What is that? Like, like what, what, what even is that? Like, what, what did the other shotguns, apart from being overpowered, do to deserve such, such a disappointing addition to the family being brought along? This again is that, it's like the third unwanted child of the family. Nobody needed him. Nobody asked for him. He would have been nice if he would have been great. But look at it. What the pissing hell is this, Treyarch? Now, I'm going to hold off on my judgment just in case. Just in case, because, you know, the whole conversation of like, are we actually supposed to have this gun yet? Is it like a glitched way of getting the gun into zombies? Like, it's not been balanced out for this sort of game yet, which I highly... Highly doubt, like, if you've not seen the M82 Sniper, don't know what went wrong with that balancing on that one, but I want to hold off my conclusion of what I think of this gun. But not to that point of just going, oh, well, it sucks on round four. It's terrible and that must be it. No, 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 no. I've taken this gun all the way up to round 35 where it had all the maxed out attachments, like all the extra attachments for damage and barrel and all that sort of stuff. The fast reload speeds, which, oh, one sec, I'm... Still not reloading my gun. But even got it up to them higher rounds to see how it would hold off. And if it could, like, bring itself back. It's had its second wind and it's ready to perform. And uh, the answer to that one is also not not quite either. The attachments and all that do really make a difference. Like, there's an 80% damage attachment that you could add to this to make it, you know, like, pack that punch. But, mate, 
what you're seeing here in these early rounds is a pretty good example of what it does in the higher rounds. So without further ado, let's take it on up there. We are on round 36, a pretty like average wave just to show you guys like what a maxed out gun is capable of. Let's get a full wave together and do some damage. Now, again, I'm not giving you guys a full review of this weapon like from start to finish to see like when it actually kind of gets somewhat useful and usable. Let's get, let's get these zombies together and let's go for a street sweep of these zombies. I'm trying to go for that headshot because I want I want those crit damages. I'm backed into a corner. And we were probably one bullet away then from wiping out the entirety of this wave. Which, I tell you something, it, it's for a shotgun, that's a lot of ammo in a shotgun to fire away and only kill that many zombies. You might be like, Tom, that's actually really good. Like, you know, an assault rifle. The, the full ammo in that can't take out a full wave. You know, like, you might be right, you might be right. But, like... We're just spoiled with shotguns in this game. Shotguns in zombies are this just beefcakes. Like, you shoot a zombie, yeah! And, well, apart from him doing the electric jive right now, it would decimate them. Even if you go for the headshot, it would just absolutely decimate them. Whereas, the Road Rage, tier 3 pack of punched, like, tier 5 damaged, it's even got the 80% more damage barrel on the end of it. Feels like it's missing something. And this could be pre-patch for when this is supposed to come out. Because, like we said, like, this probably shouldn't be out right now. And we're saying, like, we think this is a bug. That the fact we can even get our hands on it. And if I was to truly give you, like, my final notes and my final advice, it would be probably wait until, like, this actually appears in the zombie menu. Or it's announced as a mid-season update for you to be able to get. Because, like, like the hype and excitement I had to get this gun... And then to actually start using it, I was like, really? This is it? Like, I was expecting something that was going to be like, just either the highest amount of damage when it's fully pack a punch. Like, we've had the, the you know, the spars and, and, the, and the, the shotgun. Like, I was expecting those two guns to just absolutely, like, be put to shame in comparison to this thing. But even, like, when you put a ring of fire on, like, you could say, like, yeah, that holds up because it's a shotgun. Like... Yeah, it holds up like anything would with Ring of Fire, but I would expect it to drop the full wave, man. It's an automatic shotgun, but it just seems to fall short. And like I said just a second ago, I'd rather hold off from my full, like, Pack-A-Punch review where I take it from nothingness to everything uh, until it's supposed to be out. Because I can't really see this being, like, the official launch of this gun, whether or not it is the official launch. And rather than try to go in the route of, hey, microtransactions, buy this gun right now, it's behind a... Not, like, buy wall, but behind a download wall. Because, like, the only way you can get this right now is going to Warzone. You go to Warzone, you download it, you complete the challenges over there, and then you can come back here and it's usable. It's, you know, it's it's behind something. It's not just the game you bought and it's available there. It's, you know, behind this, behind that, behind this. And that was the same with, like, the steak. You couldn't just buy that steak knife that I showed the other day, like, going around as, like, a vampire hunter. You couldn't just go to the store and buy it. Whereas if you download Warzone, you could simply go straight to the store and buy it. These could just be bugs, and this could just be a little thing, but, you know, there's been sort of tactics like this used before, so who knows? Maybe it's just their way of being like, go download Warzone. You might not want it, but you'll love it because it's got free shit for you to use in zombies. So I feel like it's kind of going that route, but, you know, again, I'm holding off my full judgment until that, like, the, the, the mid-season update comes out. Because until then, I don't think it's fair to call. What I am going to call, though, is the gun is trash. Uh, it is actual trash. It's a little bit fun to use in this sort of, like, like mid-section of pack a punch of the gun where you're like, oh, this could be quite good, or, oh, this could be quite epic. But with Treyarch's whole uber weapon, like, every weapon's got the path to become one, this one doesn't Treyarch. It's going in the category with the M82 Sniper, which is a bag of bolts. And if you guys have not seen my review of that, oh my god, if you ever want to see me so disappointed with a gun in Call of Duty Zombies, click the link down below or the, like, the information button popping up right now to check out my review of that gun because, oh my god, that gun was bad. But enough of that, it's bringing back bad memories. Like, honestly, like, you know, like, you're talking, like, Ray Gun, Magnum, M16 up here, and then the M82 Sniper. Oh my god, absolutely awful. But alas... Ladies and gentlemen, I must wrap up this video. I will be holding off my review for doing the whole pack of punch series for this gun until it is officially out. And if they do say it's officially out, hey, I'll be getting it done really, really quick for your faces. I've kind of already given it a little bit of a go, but I just thought to myself, like, I don't think I should be releasing this just yet because I don't know whether it's got the fine-tuning patch that it needs before release date. And hopefully, the feedback from this video will kind of, like, nudge straight out being like, the gun really sucks. 
do something about it, please. But it is what it is. So, guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like, crane, click that subscribe button, ding down the notification bell. We're on the road to 10 million subscribers. And when we get there, we will get a diamond play button together. Everyone keeps saying to me, like, oh, hang on a minute, you get the diamond play button. We don't. And listen, when we get this diamond play button, I'm really hoping Orion's putting the diamond play button here, looking all amazing and now followed by an explosion. Oh, look at that. Absolute wizardry. What? This is not just my diamond play button. This is ours. And that's why I say ours. We, as a team, it's up to you guys, the viewers, the 46% of people who don't click subscribe on these videos, to click that subscribe button, join the syndication, and help get this together. Because teamwork makes a dream work. And alas, I must end this video. Let's get to 10 million together, and let's have an awesome 2021. Because I tell you something, this year's been kind of shit. So until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching. Enjoy getting you the shotgun if you're doing. End up unlocking it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Much love, and sadios.